close your eyes and place your attention on the breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. You can start with some deep breathing. And if deep breathing feels good, you can keep it up. Otherwise, you can let it find the breath find another rhythm. You want to keep the mind here in the present moment, because if you want to gain some control over your mind, you have to be here continually in the present to watch what it's doing. Otherwise, it's like a classroom where the teacher's not in the classroom. The kids start running around and doing, getting into all kinds of mischief, and the work they need to do doesn't get done. But if you're here attentive in the present moment, you see when an intention comes up to do something, whether it's a good intention or a bad one, whether it's something worth acting on or something worth putting aside, that puts you more in control. And when you're more in control of your own mind, then you're more in control of your own life, because your life is shaped by your actions. So. Try to be here with a sense of well-being, otherwise the mind is not going to want to stay. It's going to get tempted to go running off into the past, into the future. Like a teacher doesn't care about her students, but what they do, what their future is, she doesn't care, but she's going to go and have, have fun. That kind of teacher is no good. Well, you don't want that kind of teacher in your mind. You have to teach yourself, okay, this is where you want to stay, and there's good reason to want to stay here. Because after all, it is your mind. Nobody else can control your mind for you. Nobody else can straighten it out. You've got to do the work yourself. And here's how you do it. You get the mind in the present moment and be with the breath continually. And then when something comes up in the mind, then you'll be able to see it clearly. Then you're in a position to do something about it. At the same time, with the nourishment that comes from the breath, it gives you the strength to do, it, to do what you know you should do. Because all too often we know what we should do, but we don't do it. We don't feel like it. We feel a little bit lazy. We don't feel like we have the, the strength to do it. Well, being with the breath gives the mind strength, because it gives a sense of well-being that you don't have to go searching for outside. So to gain some control over your life, gain control of your mind first. At the same time, gain control over your mouth. Because after all, the, the mind that is telling you what to say is the same mind that's going to be looking after you while you're doing meditation. So it's the same sort of principle applies. You want to be in the present moment to watch what you're going to say. And think about the long-term consequences. Because what you say lasts for a long time, it has an impact on other people, and that reverberates around. And at the same time, it has a reverberation in your mind. As the things you tend to talk about in the day get there to stay there to clutter up the mind when you're trying to get it quiet as you meditate. So watch after your mouth, watch after your mind. Gain control over these things, and that gives you control over your life.